So the final topic of the module is this one, teaching about generative AI. And um, in many ways, I feel like this is the topic that brings everything together. Um, in fact, for the readings, when I was putting together the resources for this particular topic, I realized just how much overlap there was because um, you've, if you've done the first three topics already, you've covered lots of things that I think are really important. Um, when we start talking about teaching about generative AI. Those of you who know our work in the CoLab won't be surprised to hear me say that I feel really strongly when we're using technology with our students whenever possible, we need to engage with them um, in conversations about what these technologies are, um, who built them, um, what um, impact they have on our larger society or culture or, or disciplines or fields. And, um, and that we can't just wield a technology like a, like, a, like a hammer without any conversation like this. I can't think of any technology where this is more important than um, generative artificial intelligence um, for all the different reasons that we've talked about. Um, one of which I mentioned in the slides for this topic, which is that the reality is that even the people who build these tools like ChatGPT don't fully understand um, how they work, <laughs> right? How the, the artificial intelligence um, tool gains its knowledge. And, um, and there's kind of a gap in there where we train it and then we unleash it and we see what happens, but we don't fully understand um, technically what's, what's going on there, which to me is both fascinating but also a big sign that, oh gosh, we really need to be talking about this, not just among ourselves in the conversation in a module like this, but with our students as well. And so that's the focus this, um, on this topic is really spending time thinking about what it means to talk to our students about generative AI when we use uh, these tools in the classroom. Um, so some more readings on, on ethics and both possibilities and pitfalls of the technology. Um, um, also some information about like the, the kinds of things you need to learn in order to do the work with these tools well, such as um, prompt engineering, which is getting more and more attention as people realize, oh, what you get out of the tool is only as good as what you put into it. So take some time with this final topic to really think about how you pull all of this together um, and potentially bring that into the classroom for a really rich conversation with your students, not only using the tool, but talking about what is this tool that we're using? Why are we using it? Why are we making these choices? Um, and are there times when we would make other choices to use some, to not use a tool like this? Um, we have some uh, questions and activities, just like always, including a final re reflection activity, which I encourage you to take some time to really think about what you've gotten out of um, going through this entire module, where this leaves you and where you want to go next. Uh, as always, thank you so much for engaging with us in the collab. I hope this has been a really useful and rich experience for you.